Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Let's talk about something simple like footwork on the reformer and clients and their quadriceps. Many, many, many people have quadriceps that are like the big bullies at school. They like to take over everything. And when you're doing footwork on the reformer, yes, you're using front side and back side of the legs, hopefully. If you're pressing out and lengthening, you're most likely engaging the quads, but you're trying to say to the clients on the way home or the way back, bringing the, the carriage back home, try and engage through the hamstrings, thinking of the back line of the body. However, most people, maybe not most, but a lot of clients can't release their quads. So here's a way to just do in the warm up some pre-Pilates things where you're like, okay, let's teach you how to disengage your quads. So you have people look and see if they can tighten their quad, you'll see that the kneecap is lifted and it doesn't move side to side. I can't take someone's kneecap or their patella actually and move that kneecap side to side. However, if I relax the quads, then you can see how the patella can move side to side. So if you ask the clients to engage their quads as much as they possibly can and then see if they can release them, see if they actually can. Because if they don't have the ability to release the quadriceps, how are they going to be able to do the exercises where they're supposed to be feeling something else on the leg engage. Most likely they're overpowering with their quads. Even feet in straps, as they're pushing down, they can be pushing with the quads. Scooter's another one. You want people to start to use the back of the leg instead of just pushing with the quads. So the little test, can they tighten the quads? Can they release the quads? And you can physically see the kneecap drawing up and the kneecap going down up and down, up and down, and see if that kneecap will wiggle. If they have a hard time doing that standing, try that while they're seated. Have people sit right on the edge of the reformer, stick their legs out in front of them, and when they take the weight of the body off of the feet, lots of times it's a lot easier to get the quad to engage, but more importantly, to get the quads to disengage so that they have a way to find the other muscles in the legs. Another thing to have people look at is where is their pelvis and where is their body weight? If you take your pelvis and bring your body weight forward onto the forefoot, you have no choice but to grip those quads, otherwise you're going to fall forward. So see if we can start to get people to think of where is the body, work, body weight, excuse me. Can you bring the weight back over the heels? Right? which are meant to have to carry most of the weight so that their forefoot is disengaged and their quads can be disengaged. Again, that's something to think about in the warm-up phase of your class or possibly at the end phase of your class, depending on how you like to teach. But really see if they can get the quads to relax. And also, if the quads are squeezing, are they also squeezing the buttocks at the same time because those two don't need to work at the same time. So quad release, make sure they're not the big bullies taking over for everybody else. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.